You know that person that lights up your world and makes you feel so special just by responding back to your text? And you're so in love with this person that one day you finally get the courage to tell them that you love them and you tell them how you feel and how much you want to be with them. And then, just when you think life is going to be perfect, when they say yes, with unicorns and rainbows coming out of their ass, flying into the sunset, your crush hits you with this. No. And then you're like... <laughs> Damn, that's gotta suck, right? Getting rejected by your crush? Ha, that's crazy, man. That's some serious shit, though, getting rejected by your crush. Because it's a life lesson. And yeah, it hurts, and yeah, it sucks. But you gotta grow up. It was bound to happen. Don't worry, though. John Kane's here to help you handle the rejection. Here's five tips that I've got. Number one, you gotta realize something. First things first, your crush is an asshole. Girl or guy, they were bitches. That's number one. You have to give your crush a bad image and stop pretending that they were perfect because nobody's perfect. Everyone's got their flaws, no matter how hot they look. They probably got a shitty personality or they got breath stink like Bigfoot's dick. By the way, though, I'm going to totally shit on your crushes through the rest of the video, but it's okay. Trust me. Number two, you got to talk to somebody about this. You probably already did because that's how humans are. They like to vent things out to other people. But this one last time, vent like you've never vented before. Get it all out there so you can finally stop talking about this. I don't want to hear about this shit no more, man. God, why does everybody come to me with their problems? Like, I ain't got my own problems? Shit, yo, I got my own problems. Yeah, you're going to want to talk to somebody who's a little bit more sensitive than I am and has more time to deal with that. But yeah, you're going to want to vent it all out. Number three, now that you've vented and you've probably annoyed the fuck out of your friends, go out and do something fun to get your mind off your stupid ass crush and their ugly little face. Your crush probably look like this ugly ass guy right here. Get your mind off your crush because they're probably not thinking about you at all. Or they're probably laughing about you to their friends, talking about how lame it was that you wanted to confess your love to them. They're assholes. Your crushes are assholes. So don't lower yourself. Have some dignity and some respect for yourself. It can help you get over them if you listen to music. Happy music, not sad music. You don't listen to sad music when you're sad, stupid. Go to a party, go out drinking, play some video games so you can really get into it. Like, just beat the hell out of you. Just, you gotta understand this very important fact. You weren't the only one that got rejected that day. Usually we crush on hot people because hot people are so popular and really who doesn't want to hang out with popular people. So if he or she was popular and hot, don't think that you were the only one that got rejected. You definitely weren't the only one that got rejected. Hot popular people usually have a lot of guys or girls on their dicks or vaginas. Everybody wants to bang them just as much as you do. Or they want a relationship and so they put themselves out there but they get rejected just like you did. So you're not the only one. They get messages from people all over the world saying that they look good and that they're awesome and hey they want to hang out with them constantly. They have a lot of options. And if you two barely talked, then you were probably just one of those options. There's nothing wrong with that, it's just how life is. So don't take it so hard, they've got to reject people. Daily. It's just one of those things those hot people have to deal with, you know? I'm just kidding, I don't get no bitches. Five, now this is an important step that you've got to remember. No second chances. Your crush rejected you. And now they got the nerve to come back like nothing happened? Talking about like, you know, oh, I don't know what I was thinking, I miss you, you're so special to me and I really like you and I really like you a lot now, actually. And blah, 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 bullshit. And now you're all confused, you're like, oh my god, why is she come back? Or why is she here now? I'm... You want to know why that crush is back? I'm going to tell you why, right now. If your crush was a guy, this is why they're back now. He was most likely talking to another girl and couldn't get no pussy, so now he's like, Damn, man, this girl ain't gonna give me no pussy. Shit. Oh, well. Hey, what was the one bitch's name that was all over my nuts the last night? She did look right, though. Hey, beautiful, smiley face. That's literally what your ugly ass crush is probably doing. Truth hurts, but yeah. Now, if your crush was a girl, this is why she's coming back to you. What probably happened was, she just got finished having sex with some guy. Most likely her ex, or an on and off boyfriend. Boo, babe, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Just know this, they've been having sex for a long time. Lots of sex. I'm sorry to tell you this, but son, you never had a chance. So anyway, back to the story. So she probably just got done having sex, and then this. Oh my god, baby, that was amazing. Yeah, girl, you know it. So, are we together now? Uh... <laughs> oh, you funny. <laughs> Get out. So, here she comes, crawling back to old reliable. That's you. So, she can use you to get over the other guy emotionally. Let me say this again. Emotionally. 
Meaning that she just wants somebody, anybody, to cuddle, to watch movies, to tell her she's pretty, and to tell her that her ex was an asshole and a whole bunch of bitching no, no guy wants to do. Well, unless you're in a relationship. But she doesn't want a relationship with you or anybody else and is only coming to you because you told her that you like her. What a dumbass. Right now, all she wants is somebody to be there for her. And she wants to be able to get whatever she wants from you. And in that situation, all you gotta do is say, bitch, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Trust me, you don't want a girl like that. Don't feed her ego. Son, you deserve better than that. Don't let these hoes use you like a tampon. Because unless you made out before, nothing's gonna happen. Sex or a relationship. The only way you're gonna get some is if you're a nine or above. If you're below a nine, then the only thing's gonna happen is you're gonna get used. You're not gonna get laid, so fuck it. Now guys and girls, don't give your crushes no type of love. And before some of you guys come and say, not all people are like that, don't talk about my crush like that. I'm not saying that every situation is gonna be like that, with that same scenario. But if you see them in that way, you're gonna think of them as a bad guy, right? And it's better that way. Remember step one? Exactly. Well guys, that's about all I have for now. I'm John Kane, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you with your crushes. Uh, don't give them second chances. Fuck them. Move on. There's other people out there. See ya.